the government he speaks, he speaks to all millionaires. So it looks like they have their own agenda. Yes, they're looking to, you know, buttress the business focus on their own line. That it might not trickle down to the ordinary man on the street. We're in a, I mean, this space is designed for, for entrepreneurs, people who want to innovate and create and basically build their own businesses. Uh, he's talked about cutting corporate tax. I mean, that, that's, a, that's a good policy for these young uh, entrepreneurs, isn't it? Well, I, I think we can all identify with that because about uh, more than 90% of businesses in America are small uh, scale businesses. So cutting corporate tax and stuff like that is something that's a welcome idea. Everybody can identify with that. And talk to me a bit about African policies that you've heard so far. Well, um, U.S. policies towards Africa. I, I believe that um, they started Africa Growth and Opportunities Act, uh, which was started about 12 to 13 years ago, where U.S. Right now, what we can say is Africans don't need aid. They need trade. So the U.S. Uh, our Africa Growth and Opportunities Act has been a very great idea, and we want it to be broadened. The U.S. also started giving Millennium Challenge grants to Africa. Ghana, they gave us about uh, 500 million. The first tranche which we used in building roads and agriculture really helped. We are yet to get a second tranche which is going to help in the energy sector. So U.S. for some reason, for some time, especially during the Bush administration and continuing with the Obama administration, they had uh, very good uh, policies towards Africa. They have very good engagements with Africa that uh, we wish to have continued. But what have you heard specifically from this president, from President Donald Trump, about the continent of Africa and a relationship with the United States going forward? Uh, in his inaugural speech, he said, this time, America first. And I've searched that report to look at any policy towards Africa. I haven't heard a single mention of Africa in his tweets or in his messages. So it's kind of dicey that we don't know anything, if he has any plans. Right now, all we know is he has said, America first. But didn't, didn't Obama disappoint in his African promise as well? I mean, he was going to be a president who was going to sort of redefine that relationship. Certainly, when he was coming into office, he, he talked a lot about that. Well, um, I believe that if I should give credit to any president, U.S. president, I'll give credit to uh, President Bush. President Bush did more for Africa than any uh, president in the history uh, of the United States. But he gave some grants to eradicate malaria. He visited, he spent more time in Africa yeah, doing about uh, doing projects. Obama's administration, I think, he set a good stage to be continued by the next Democratic administration, which we all believed that was going to be Hillary's administration. So the gains from Obama's administration were we were going to see in the next Democratic administration. But unfortunately, it didn't happen like that. So if he had continued, I've seen it.